Here we are again. And so soon. We really should stop meeting this way. The mystery of the red UFOs are solved. And I apologize to everybody for solving it. I doubt that I'm the first. I'm pretty sure other YouTubers have figured this out, uh, which is why they're showing uh, red UFOs, but not telling anybody how to do it. So I am ruining the fun for everyone. It's a mod. It's the Better Crates mod, originally um, coded by Rainbow Shree Sheep, and then the uh, Angry UFO, which is what this uh, class is called. I would I would say that it's a sub function, but I um, I don't I'm not a C coder. I hate C, and that's my, it's my weakest language, but I would call it a function. This uh, this angry UFO function is what is adding the red UFO into the game. And it's a really good idea. It makes the UFO a threat, and it uh, adds a little bit of flavor to the game. I spoke to the coder that uh, put this in. I'm not going to name him here, because I'm going to leave it up to him how he wants to announce this to the world, or if he does. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. So, as I said, this is the function right here. This is the um, trap, I would call it a trap, um, to figure out when to spawn it. So you can see that it's uh, a random number in the range of 0 to 8, so you have 9 chances, and if it equals 4, um, turn one of the green UFOs, uh, turn the green UFO red. So this occurs every single time a UFO uh, is spawned into the game, um, and you have a uh, 1 in 9 chance of, uh, of getting it. This is the code here that changes the, um, the light, so it changes the spotlight and it changes the, uh, the lights on the, um, on the ship itself. Uh, this is the original script here, Fedu, or Fedo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and that is a Hungarian word for top, so top like a dreidel or, you know, one of those things that you uh, play with out of, as a kid until your IQ reaches a point where they're no longer fun. And this here, EMP script, again, that's also in the original game. And this um, shuts off the lights, shuts off the engines, and makes the sound. It doesn't include the radio, though. I found that out, that the radio continues to function um, even with this script on. Um, the handheld lights, the magic lights, the work lights, whatever they called uh, in-game. The brightness on the light, like when you see that the light is, is bright, that continues to function, but it doesn't actually throw a spotlight. So that's kind of a, a, a little bit of a bug that makes it a little bit um, immersion-breaking. And then down here, uh, you have some code for, um, I think, to make the red UFO destroy your stuff. To suck it up and throw it around and do whatever. Now, the red UFO does destroy anything that touches it, so I think there are two uh, um, physics objects being added in here. Although, I am not super up on Unity. So I do not know what this says, um, but there is one sphere which draws everything in, and then I think that there is a, um, a 2D something that uh, destroys whatever comes into it. And I think that this part here is what does that. Um, this is how far away from the, uh, from the object, the sphere, to be cast to suck everything in, and other stuff. I'm not going to dwell on that because I can't explain it very well. And then there's some error coding down here somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the code. It's not in 
um, the base game. This is this assembly C sharp. That is the um, that is the base game's code here. We'll open up some of the some of the calls. Here we go, and we can find the original script. We'll copy this and we'll paste it in here. And here is part of the original script here. There we go. Um, and it just sets the autopilot how high above the um, the game it should be and driving from one side to the other. They are impossible to catch. I know a bunch of YouTubers wanted to catch them. Uh, but it does double its speed once it gets to a certain distance. And then as soon as that it's at a render distance, it kills itself. And that is the original one. And as you can see here, there is no indication, there's no place to turn it red. Um, how the developer, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, um, set up his game is that he has everything already rendered in that wants to come in, that he wants to spawn. So the, the, the green UFO is actually on the map. Um, it's invisible, but it's there. Um, he, has one, uh, he has one building that's named UFO, but it's the, it's the water tower. And I think it's f the shape is from the hometown that he's from in Hungary, where the, the actual water tower looks like a UFO. Um, uh, I live near uh, a town called Armprior, and there is uh, a water tower that looks pretty much like a UFO. It's a lot thicker, so it's like a fat UFO, which would be a good UFO for the game. You know, if you're a modder and you want to add this in, just like scale up the size. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not super hard, but it might be super hard. And they just have like a super fat UFO really low to the ground and like and like slow down the the woo 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 sound so it's like just trundling along like this fat american ufo the american ufo you could have the lights red white and blue going woo -woo -woo as it sucks everything up that would be pretty cool um but that's it that's i it's a it's a good idea the um the coder that built it he wanted to have sort of um he wanted to make the ufos a threat again and uh he wanted like a like a schoolyard rumor kind of thing that people would talk to each other about this um i don't think he had any kind of uh dishonest intentions although i think it was misleading because it's not documented anywhere of course it wouldn't be a rumor if it wasn't documented um but it has created this haves and haves nots and I don't know. I don't like that aspect of what occurred. Although I do like the red UFO. Uh, I like variety. I think that we should add uh more UFOs. I would like for the um the developer of the game to add more UFOs. I think that would be um, a great thing. You could have uh, one UFO dropping um, rabbits as it as it flew around to make you think that the, that the that the UFOs were doing that, or you know, one that completely sucked up your car and made it just completely disappear. And as you're uh, walking to the next stop, if it takes too long, if it takes like two or three days, drop your car back down, make it. Uh, look like as if the red and green UFOs were fighting, or if there's um, a multiple number of uh, species of aliens that are battling for Earth, or you know, it, it'd be it'd be a nice lore to stick into it. And I think that this was this author's intention was to um, create some kind of lore, some kind of mystique to the game, because. It is a very basic game, and I also like that about the game, that it is that it is very basic. It's just one 
thing. You drive, you pick up parts, you clean it. The the bunnies being, um, some of them being evil and having to shoot them, I don't particularly like that, though. I like peaceful games that are more puzzly and stuff than I like stuff where you have to shoot things. Uh, not that I don't like shooting things. That, that sounded so psychotic. It, it's, I, I don't mind shooting things. I don't know how else to say it. I own guns. I like hunting. It's a thing. It's a pastime. It's loud. It's cool. The thing you're pointing your gun at dies. I, I, I'm okay. I could stop now because I'm just making myself sound psychotic. But yeah, I, I like a game that just sucks up time, that just gives you something to do and occupies your mind, and going through it and not having like a pile of charts and uh, spreadsheets and all kinds of other stuff. I do appreciate those games sometimes, but I still really appreciate plugging in my joystick because my wheel is packed up and I don't want I don't want to remove it and making tiny moves as I'm driving down a highway at 100 kilometers an hour and really not thinking about it and just staring at the screen. It's it's great. And the red UFO coming in is sometimes will pull you out of that and make you have to do things like stop and find a, a new hood or something like that. But that's that's the red UFO, that's the that's the veil, the unveiling of the whole thing. And I'm a little bummed. But uh good idea. Let's keep trying to make this game better. Oh, and modders absolutely make games better. Developers have enough on their plate. You can't blame them for not putting everything you want into the game, because they have a lot of stuff to do, including their own lives to live, whereas modders are legion. There are many of us, so... We can spend the time to stick stuff in the game that players want, that maybe the developers don't want, or the developers don't have time. Plus, modders can get away with breaking the game and making it glitchy and screwing it up. Whereas devs, they don't have that uh, luxury. They have to make the good. They have to make the game good. They have to make it as perfect as possible, or they catch crap from everybody. Modders. If their mod breaks the game, that's fine. Just don't use that mod. But we are improve modders improve the games. Support your mods. Ers. <laughs> <laughs>